So for what disappointments and obstacles I've encountered in life and how I handled them, uh, I'd have to say there are three pretty big setbacks growing up. Um, one of them being growing up as a military kid. My dad was in the Marine Corps for a while. Uh, gymnastics and the injuries that it, you know, put on my body. And then uh, doing schoolwork as a homeschooled child. <clears throat> so during my father's 20 plus years of active duty service in the United States Marine Corps, um, our family was always and endlessly like relocating all over the country. Um, moving made finding and becoming attached to a community community really difficult. Uh, when my father would receive new orders, sometimes only after like 10 months, the hunt for a new home and church, school, friends, and gymnastics gym would begin. So after several moves, I no longer felt the pain of constant traveling. I began to look forward to each new uh, adventure that the military life presented and started to approach change with a new attitude growing up. <clears throat> this experiment uh, experience helped me to understand growing up and accept that while some aspects of my life are out of control, I can control how I respond to them. And then the gymnastics section, um, gymnastics injuries have also been a pretty big setback to my training and personal life physically and um, socially. I have suffered like countless physical grievances like broken bones, dislocated joints, torn tissues, muscles, sprains, rips, bruises, surgeries, the list is practically endless. However, each injury has taught me more about my body, its limits, as well as how to exhibit self-control. I have learned to recognize the difference between challenging myself and hurting myself. Injuries have similarly given me the training to cope with the disappointment that comes with missing events and activities whenever you're injured or sitting on the sidelines. This knowledge has led to my understanding that I am ultimately responsible for my physical well-being and no one except myself is to blame for my setbacks. And then the final setback being schoolwork. When I am not at church or the gym, I'm usually at home doing schoolwork or in my dorm doing schoolwork. Uh, my mother homeschooled my siblings growing up and myself. So therefore, we have learned that we are not always going to get immediate assistance whenever we needed it because um, we had I have four siblings. So my mother couldn't possibly teach all of us at the same time, nor could she have mastered like all the concepts or subjects that we found challenging. So that obstacle led and demonstrated to me the importance of being able to study independently and being able to learn any subject. <clears throat> and the urgency of being accountable for my own tasks and timelines because being, you know, one of the children of five, you kind of have to be able to be on top of your own deadlines and when things need to be done, how they should be done, being able to read a syllabus. Um, learned that pretty pretty early age. The ability to finish my schoolwork on my own and on my own time has been one of my most challenging responsibilities throughout high school and similarly in college here at Texas A&M. Um, but more importantly, my success in this area has displayed to my parents, my upperclassmen, and my company buddies that I am trustworthy and reliable. I do not think that every problem needs a solution because it's not my job to fix every problem. But... I think everyone who has problems should strive to fix their own problems. And then in that way, we can solve a lot more problems instead of a bunch of people just bunching into everyone else's business and always needing to know every bit of information. Um, so personally, I don't think I need to fix every problem. While on the other hand, I do think that problems create chaos. So if everyone just strove to solve their own problems, the world would be probably a lot better place.